and welcome to this speed build. I'm basically doing a house that is all in white. It's kind of a challenge um, just to try and get me to use different objects and different textures and stuff. So as you can see I'm putting loads of different textures and stuff on the walls right now. Um, yeah, I thought this was quite an interesting thing to do. Um, I ended up using a lot of different things that I wouldn't normally do. But yeah. Uh, sorry I've been away, um, I've been in Norway for over a week and there is a video on my channel um, about my time in Norway, um, there's like a little video montage just of like the scenery and the cruise I was on, um, but yeah that's why I wasn't uploading, but I'm back now and so I'm uploading again, <laughs> so yeah. Um, but yeah, I've finished all my exams and stuff, and I've got a job now as well. Um, so I'm quite busy, but I'm still going to try and upload it as regularly as I can. So it'll probably be like two videos a week, maybe. Um, hopefully more than that, but I'll just see what I can do. I'm going to try and aim for at least two a week, two or three. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're doing. It's kind of a very modern build trying to make everything white which was really difficult and um, because some things you can't really put in white like I tried to make the borders of those raised bits um, on the front you know where there's like kind of green boxes and um, it looked kind of grey which was annoying but yeah so we do a little outdoor decking area on the back here the fences really made this it just gave it the detail it needed um, yeah, it was looking a bit boring beforehand. But this is me trying to find some white or something that just looked better than what it was. <laughs> I don't like that pool there, it's kind of square. Usually I make a pool more rectangular or something, but I've never really made a more squarish pool. I mean, it's still a rectangle, but it's squarer than what I would usually do. Yeah, put a tree inside there. That was um, an idea that I actually got off Google, where like I saw someone who had like a bedroom um, and some plants looking into the bedroom like a little plant area with this like a skylight letting all the light in um, yeah I try and do a front garden here um, it's annoying because I don't have the romantic garden stuff pack so I can't really do that much with gardens at the moment so I'm kind of using the same plants I mean I think they should have really just included new plants in an update because I think everyone should have had access to them really because I don't know it's quite an important aspect I mean, there's not that many plants to work with really so it's quite difficult doing landscaping without the stuff packs um, but I think it looked alright I tried to make it look really kind of neat because well if I was doing a house that's all in white you'd imagine it to be quite neat and sterile but yeah I tried to make it still look homely I don't want it to look too much like boxy and like hospital <laughs> even though the shape is very boxy um, but I wanted it to have a big white wall at the front. Um, yeah, just because I thought it'd look very dramatic. But yeah, we're just doing the kitchen here. And yep, all white. <laughs> it was really fun to do though. I think the way the interior looked, you wouldn't think oh, it's all just kind of one colour. I mean, obviously, like there's some stuff, like I couldn't really choose a white, white um, stoves. I chose a light colour though, but. Um, and I love how I put that window through there, I think that looks so cool. It just kind of breaks up the kitchen and the dining area a little bit. But it looks really good. Um, yeah, two stoves, two places to cook. So it'd be quite a good house for entertaining if you're having like a dining, like a food dinner party, that's the word. <laughs> um, yeah, and loads of, there's quite a lot of wallpapers actually that come in white and um, loads of different textures and stuff that I never really realised before so this um, yeah this opened my eyes to a lot of new stuff actually um, so yeah we just decorate the kitchen obviously not everything is white I choose some paintings and stuff that aren't all white because well there's not that many things that are just white but all the actual furniture is white um, mostly everything is white but I think you do kind of forget that it is all one colour because of all the decorations and stuff. Because when I kind of thought about it, I thought, oh, it's just going to be really boring, everything's just going to look plain. But I think with the amount of detail that I used, I managed to pull it off without it looking too boring and plain. So yeah, this is the dining room we do. Like, glass table and chairs, which I think looks really cool with all the white. 
um, yeah, and I use these kind of twig separators which look really cool. Um, and the layout of the downstairs is quite weird. Um, this is only part one, so I haven't done the upstairs yet. Um, that'll be in the next part. Um, yeah, there's paintings there. I kind of set them down on the counter rather than up. I think it just looked cool, like they were resting on it almost. Um, what we do now is more decorations. Um, but yeah. Um, but Norway was really good. We went to like all the fjords and stuff. Um, yeah, I've never really been anywhere like that. I've never been on a cruise either. That was really nice. Nice to have a relaxing time. I've just been kind of stressed the past year, so <laughs> nice to finally have a holiday. Um, yeah. Oh, this is cool. I think we do like a little decoration there on the wall with the mirrors and like overlaying with those patterned metal wall decorations. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the living room area. It's kind of separated off into like two sections. I was managing like a little sitting um, area and then like a... With a uh, I don't even know, you'll see. <laughs> um, so I have sofas in the middle and then like a seat with um, a desk at the back. Uh, I was imagining like um, the people who live here would probably work from home maybe they're graphic designers or like they have their own little business they could be architects or something I just imagine they'd be doing something in like design and that they would work from home like have a home office and stuff but yeah I think all this white furniture actually looked really nice or it came out looking a lot nicer than I expected it to I thought it was gonna turn out looking really boring um, yeah massive TV going in there I think they put a rug in another rug in um, and this is when we start doing some actually weird shaped walls, it kind of looks like a beehive, you know, with like the, I think it's hexagonal walls that the beehives have, um, but it looks really cool, I think, and I'm probably going to make it into like a bathroom and an office area, but yeah, this is the hall that we're doing, so I kind of put the normal stuff that you'd put in a hall, like the shoes and coats and stuff, um, just move that around there so that I could fit in another room and um, yeah the whole this makes the whole look a lot more interesting because I did want it to be a big open space but I didn't want it to just look empty so it still looks open and fresh and airy but not like it's just a space that you have you, you don't know what to do with it I want it to look like it actually yeah I want it to look interesting I think that was the main thing with this build and um, the main challenge was to make things look interesting because it's just a big white box basically so <laughs> it was hard to make it look interesting um, so I think this is the bathroom we're doing here so yeah a nice white bathroom um, yeah I think the bathroom turned out alright um, could have been better I do actually use grey there a little bit as well but I think white and grey white and grey is like the kind of what we do with this house and I want to do a, like a house that's all in black as well so I'll probably try that next time that'll be fun but yeah we're nearly at the end of the video so I hope you liked this part and I hope you watch the next part and um, please subscribe for more so you can see all the new videos I put out and uh, yeah like as well and comment so I know what you thought and also what else you'd like me to do just comment and let me know what you want and um, thank you for watching